What's up everybody, finally getting around to showing you how to render stuff out. Uh, I had the video made probably whenever I started making the HD tutorial, and uh, it was during the time YouTube wasn't processing stuff correctly, and it got lost. Which means that I had to redo it, like right now. So pretty much today I'm going to show you how to render stuff out in HD, uh, taking probably about the least amount of time. So hopefully you can see everything. I need to try to not move this screen because, uh, yeah, that'll mess up the recording. But anyway, I've got my two files in here. One's a video file, one's an audio file. I do them uh, differently because that's how I add live commentary. You cannot, under normal circumstances, add commentary through a capture card. They don't record your audio normally. Uh, but anyway, I've got my two files. Uh, this is a .ts. It's one of the files that the HD capture card, Hapagi, however you want to pronounce it, uh, produces. It produces MP4, M2TS, and TS files. I like the TS files because they seem the most stable. So anyway, we're going to drop them in. I'm going to move that up a little bit. As you can see, there's a preview here. This little box. Um, usually, when I have to do uh, commentary stuff, I usually have to move the volume down for the game and usually my commentary up to about 3.2 to 3.9 somewhere around there that's a pretty good thing you're gonna have to test it out yourself uh... to get the best results but that's usually what i have to do also i usually have to bump up my commentary about thirty frames or more to get it to sync up that's usually about the norm right now uh... if not the audio is going to be off which is why my audio is never perfect, but uh, I try to get it as best as I can. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to render out normally and with the batch render, hopefully. So normally, this video is the PS3 video that I have up. It's only about five minutes long, so it's it's not that bad. Normally, what you do, you get everything all synced up, uh, all the audio correct, and. Uh, Basically, I'll show you the settings I used to use and the settings I use now. You'd go to Render As. Uh, I use QuickTime now, but before, for a while, I was using Sony AVC, which is right here. And you pretty much just have to pick Internet 16x9 HD 30p. And you don't really have to mess with that at all. It'll take maybe about an hour to get a 10-minute video out, depending on how... Uh, graphics heavy and movement heavy that video is these files usually end up being between 300 and 500 megs so they're pretty pretty high but with that you don't have to do anything the other method I use that I'm using now is uh, QuickTime 7.mov you do have to go into custom for this because these are the default ones and these two are the ones that I made HD good is just <laughs> a stupid name I gave it because I don't use this one anymore I use this this is the custom one that I made basically uh, you go into custom and you have to change for HD if you're using an HD capture card this will not work if you're using standard you have to uh, set it to custom you pretty much have to make it so that your your uh, render settings are 1280 by 720 if you're using uh, the, uh, the hop hoggy or whatever you want to call it also, Sorensen Video 3, I don't know if this comes with yours or not. That's what I use. Um, I tried some other stuff, it just didn't work out that well. And I also have the quality up to 100%. Uh, just take a look at my settings, that's pretty much it. I don't know if I've messed with the audio much. Not really. The audio's pretty good, I guess. I mean, sure. But you will have to change the video stuff in here. Uh, to get it to come out to 1280 by 720. Otherwise, I think it's just going to be 720 by like 486. And that's pretty much it. You're going to make sure that the frame rate is, you know, 21.97. If you're NTSC, if you're PAL, it's going to be different. I can't help you with that. I live in the United States. I use NTSC, not PAL. Uh, just take a look at the settings. If you can see them, hopefully you can see them. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. All you have to do with that. This format is going to produce about 200 to 300 some odd megabyte files, so they're going to be smaller. Quality is still going to be probably about as good. And uh, that's pretty much it. Those are the two settings that I use. 
to batch render, which is very vital if you record like I do in bulk. I usually record in 30 minute sessions. And uh, you can't render out a 30 minute video and upload it to YouTube because not only would that take a long time, but you'd have to be a partner or have a really old YouTube account to do that. So you need to batch render. You basically need to click in this area and you'll get this little yellow flag gray line. Now what this does is allows you to chop up your video. So this is 4 minutes 55 seconds. Let's put it about 2. You can either go to edit and split or you can just hit S. Uh, you have to make sure that all these are selected too. And then we'll split it. It's split. You can move these now. And to batch render this, you need to uh, position this little selector. Uh, the length of the you know split section you just did. Hit R. That's all you have to do. Hit R. Name it whatever. And then you can either drag it, hit enter, do whatever. Go to the next one. Make sure that they line up. You'll usually see like a, a blue or a yellow line, so you can see a, like a cyan cyan line right there. Hit R again. You can see that there's a little two thing here now because that's the second video. Name it whatever. I mean, it really doesn't matter what you name it. And to pretty much render this out, you need to go to Tools. I just had a dialogue mess up there. Like if uh, I have a little lisp for some reason. Scripting. I feel like Cindy Brady. And then you need to go to batch render. This will pop up a screen that looks like. Come on. It might take a little bit for it to pop up. It looks like it'll look like this. What you need to do. Here's the Sony AVC. Go and you know select Internet 18 by 9. Blah blah blah. Don't just hit the box because then it's going to select everything, and you really don't want that. That is not good. Or you go down to QuickTime 7, which is mine. Select HD Good. You want to hit the Render Regions uh, radio button. You don't want any of this other stuff. You want Render Regions. And from here, if you hit Browse, you can basically tell it where to render out as. So, and it's once you hit Save, it's going to uh, save where you want to put it. If you hit OK, it's going to start rendering it out. Um, using this method, it takes about 35 to 45 minutes for a 10 minute video. Um, using the QuickTime 7, not the, uh, what do you call it, the Sony AVC. And this is going a lot faster because the first video is only 2 minutes, so we're going to cancel that. And that's pretty much it. That's how you render some stuff out. Uh, I hope this helped the people who were kind of in limbo trying to figure that out and the people who are at DLC Quick Play with HD stuff. I know uh, Dub is one of the only ones probably, but that's it. Hopefully this helped anyone out. Finally the last piece of the puzzle is there and we are done.